place to build a subway. Huh, Ralph? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, nothing can break through a million years of tar and solid granite. I thought I'd hang out on the boulevard a little bit longer. I've been in Hollywood an entire day, and I still haven't seen a single star. Max, I brought you on this trip because I thought it'd be educational. I want you to spend some time with me at the museum. We just found an intercaustic clavicle. Yeah, great. Hey, wh whatever you say, Mom. Uh, whoa! You would not believe who I'm looking at. Hey, look, I gotta go. Ciao, Mom. Ciao, Mom? Wow! Clint Eastwood! Ah, it's just a bunch of phony cutouts. I mean, they think I can't tell the difference? <laughs> Please. I won't be back! Hmm. Dustin Hoffman sure has small feet. Oh, <laughs> it's his nose print. Oh, no! Mighty one, go to John Wayne, Virgil. I don't know how that chicken does it. Eh, might as well go save the world. There probably aren't any movie stars around here anyway. Catch, Normie. Uh, where are we? It's the pits, Mighty One. Mighty One, we must act at once. Danger is near. Excuse me, um, aren't there any union rules about superheroes getting two weeks of R&R? I haven't had a day off in 2,000 years. Yeah, I noticed the dark circles under your eyes. So, what is it this time? A beast? A monster? A demon? It's a beast! It's a monster! It's a demon! Hey, Ace Ventura has nothing on me. I'll battle the unknown. Face evil. Risk my life. Okay, maybe I haven't thought this through. Oh, oh, hi, Mom. Look, I can't talk now. We'll do lunch later, okay? Max, I thought I saw you. What's going on? Of all the tar pits and all the cities in the world, she had to walk into mine. Greetings, Mother of the Mighty One. Hi, Mrs. Ms. Mom? Hello, boys. It's nice to see you in a relatively peaceful moment. Well, oh, that didn't last long. We must act at once, Mighty One. Max, you're not going into that tunnel unless I go with you. Oh, I wonder if other superheroes have to bring their moms along when they save the world. Come on, you know I'm not like other moms. Careful, honey. You might poke your eye out. Oh, here I am in Southern California, the land of sunshine, and I spend the day in a hole. It must have been blown open during the recent subway construction. A hole within a hole. Oh man, this just gets better and better. I don't think any movie stars live in this part of town. Does anyone know exactly what we're looking for? No, but I'm sure we'll recognize it when we find it. I love surprises. Caves must have been inhabited thousands of years ago. <laughs> yeah, but whoever lived here didn't get back their cleaning deposit. If I'm not mistaken, these drawings date from the late Cenozoic era. Hmm. They must have gone on ahead. Maybe whoever lived down here ran a rib joint, huh, Mom? Mom? Hey, anyone seen Mom? Nothing. Where's a payphone when you need one? Max? Max, where are you? Max? Max, is that you? I hope it's you. No! 
feet into a dark hole is not exactly my favorite preteen activity. It appears to be your mother's camera. You don't think mom? <coughs> I never thought I'd be glad to hear mom scream. <coughs> mom! Are you okay? Max, be careful. Stay right there. Why? What's wrong? If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, he is Neanderthal, a living specimen of human history. Yeah? Well, you touch my mom and you will be history, monkey boy! I'll handle this. I eat cavemen for lunch. They seem to speak the same language. good shape for a guy pushing a million. He appears to have superhuman strength. Perhaps Norman is in a little over his head. man brought me here, but he didn't hurt me. Well, then why did he attack us? Ankwa un Aka. Perhaps our Neanderthal companion was protecting her. Oh, no way! That guy's half ape and half gym teacher. <sighs> the next time I won't go so easy on you. Now what's he up to? I believe we've been invited to dinner. Oh, yeah? Uh, thanks, but I'm trying to cut down on million-year-old mammoth meat. <laughs> Not bad. Need salt. We must communicate with this caveman if we are to learn what is happening here. So, uh, what does Betty Rubble do to keep her shapely figure, huh? Walk da un ak. You don't say. Oh dear. Excuse me, mighty one. Arach chung aka. Raksa ach gor. Virgil. You speak grunt? Of course. 150 dialects, as a matter of fact. By the way, our Hirsute friend's name is Gore. Max, take a look at these drawings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's definitely not ready for his own art show. Hey, don't feel bad, Fred. Maybe one day you can be an auto mechanic, huh? They seem to tell a story. Perhaps this is the clue we've been searching for. A strange meteor fell to Earth a million years ago and landed right here in these tar pits. The meteor gave Gore immortality and incredible strength. But the meteor gave these same powers to something else. The story appears to end there. What was he fighting? Look, he must have broken off during the fight. Uh-oh, I think we've got trouble. Yes, it might be a good idea to regroup, strategize, calculate. 
fairly intelligent. He sensed what your plan was, Mighty One. You know, I bet he's been guarding the Sabertooth, keeping it from escaping for thousands of years. <laughs> Looks like he just lost his job. <laughs> we must stop that beast before it ravages the city. We'll never be able to keep up with it. Sabertooth can cover a lot of ground. Well, we've got something he doesn't. You mean the ability to reason? Nope. A taxi! <laughs> I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but, um, well, follow that saber-toothed tiger! <laughs> oh, man, next time I share a cab with a caveman, I hope he's discovered soap. Are you guys with a studio? Hey, hey, maybe you could read my screenplay sometime, huh? I don't accept unsolicited submissions. Today's specials are Pacific shrimp topped with lime butter sauce, black caviar, roast duck with olives, marinated California blue perch, and... Saber tooth tiger! Either we're on the right track or Guns N' Roses is staying at this hotel. I hate it when cats do that. Cat scratch? The tracks seem to stop here. Now why would a prehistoric cat come to an amusement park? Perhaps it's the Sabertooth's old hunting grounds. Hey, maybe we'll run into some movie stars in here. Cool! Tony the Tiger didn't take the tour. Have you had your shots? I'm gonna declaw this pussy cat. bedrock bud <laughs> hope I didn't hurt you no way hey remember me Max your pal <laughs> oh, sure. Great show. I have to go 
out of the bathroom. Never was much of a cat person. Well, even if we do, Mighty One, how will we stop the Sabertooth? I fear this ancient beast is invulnerable. No, it isn't. Let's go. Where? I'm glad you're firmly interested in my work, Max, but this isn't exactly the right time to play in the tar. Chill, Mom. This is superhero stuff. Don't worry, dear lady. He is, after all, the Mighty One. I used to diaper the Mighty One. I worry. The Meteor, of course. Brilliant, Mighty Max. We've got company. We must be attracted by the Meteor's power. the meteor holds powers that we never imagined. Must be a family reunion. This kitty's going back to its litter box. <laughs> Hope it's still under warranty. the first superhero. Indeed, but your use of the past tense is incorrect, Mighty One. Gore lives on, protecting the world from that immortal beast. Oh, and I thought I had a tough job. What a chip, Felix. I've been here a week and I haven't seen one single movie star. Hey, we'll do brunch sometime. Ciao. Love you, babe. Have your people call my people. The La Brea tar pits really do exist in Los Angeles. They're the result of crude oil seeping to the surface, forming sticky pools of tar. Over one million fossils have been recovered, including mammoths, ground sloths, prehistoric camels, and our old friend, Smilodon. Also known as the saber-toothed tiger, which had six-inch long saber-like teeth. But that was before braces were invented. <laughs> See you next week.
Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be right back for my encore. Singing telegram for Mighty Max. Strange things are going on in Moscow, in Moscow. Virgil says to get there fast, go to Moscow now. Take the portal at D5 on the map. Hurry to floor 32, don't stop and take a nap. Eh, well, what do you expect from a fowl? Hey, I'm a chicken, actually. <laughs> wow! It's hardly the happiest place on Earth, huh? Ugh. Where are we? This is the Russian countryside just outside Moscow. Children have been disappearing at an alarming rate, Mighty Max. Something evil is going on, and it's our job to stop it. Oh, yeah, right, evil. <laughs> what, like some fixed ring toss? Oh, come on, quit pulling my taffy, Verge. It's a carnival. People have fun here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like maybe some of the locals are having too much fun. You think maybe it's the ticket taker? <laughs> I'll punch his ticket. you with the ugly stick. <laughs> Normie, dude! If they ever make popcorn stand tossing an Olympic event, man, you have got the gold wrapped up. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, anybody got any bright ideas? Because I'm fresh out. I say we fight to the death. You always say that, Norman. True, but that doesn't make it a bad idea. No, Yuri! <laughs> Yuri? Naughty, naughty Yuri, you have been bad boy. Frightening poor customers. <laughs> he is new here. He does not know place yet, like I've taught his other little friends. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hey, thanks for stepping in, Mr., uh... Frico. Frico the Clown. This is my carnival. <laughs> you like? Well, like is a strong word, but it's a real happening place. <laughs> I bet people are knocking down doors to get in, huh? <laughs> is this guy for real? You do like. Wonderful. Let me show it to you. Mr. Frico, sir. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have come across any children here lately, would you? Children? Children? <laughs> we got many children here. Many, many, many. They come, they go. They like carnival, but no children here. Now, except you. <laughs> nice breath there, buddy. <laughs> you press regularly or just every other full moon? Oh, happy. <laughs> Here, have cotton candy. Everyone love cotton candy. Why, thank you. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> I like it. Uh, no, no, no. Thanks, uh, Frico. I think I'll pass. Green's not really my color. Look, I'm gonna wander around, maybe taking a few rides, see some more sights. Uh, do you mind? No, this carnival. Everybody have fun. But be careful of fun house. Very dangerous place for child. <laughs> yeah? Oh, great. You two have fun. I'll just go look around. <laughs> you see you later, Clowny. Yes. You will, little boy. You will. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, oh dear. You are new around here. Yeah, oh, whatever. <laughs> so, look, I, I hate to bother you while you're, um, eating. Not that I probably have any choice, but, uh, <laughs> have you seen any other kids around here by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Seen any children? Yes, I did. And they were delicious. <laughs> hey, Normie! Virgil! Normie? Virgil? Great. They're probably having a fine old time while I've got Forced Boy here chasing me. Going up! Uh-oh. Exit! Ferris wheel left! Here goes nothing! at the cosmetics counter or maybe sooner <laughs> so you want to go for a ride huh Okay, I'll take you for a ride. Like me? But what happened? He did this to you? You mean all the horrible, mutant, bad-skinned uglies around here? No offense. Used to be kids? Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, why didn't you just trash Frico like you did my friend Norman? can change you back. How? But why is he changing all you kids into monsters? Because I want whole world to look like me. Well, ugly to the left of me, ugly to the right. I resent that remark, mighty one. I'd have you know that in many circles I've considered quite handsome. Virgil? Of course. Norman? Yes, mighty one. Man, you guys have really changed. Quite. We were drugged by that cotton candy, and when we awoke, something had distorted our molecular structure. Oh, it's upsetting, really. As well as itchy. But why? Oh, the usual. Frico has an unbelievably large inferiority complex. 
Born looking like a clown, he ran away to the only place he felt at home, the circus. And here he's been planning his revenge ever since. Oh, oh dear, it's another one. No, it, uh, I mean, he is on our side. Hey, can you help my buddy out of there? I'd like you to meet my bud, Yuri. Oh, oh, don't worry, Yuri. We'll find how to change you back, too. I promise. sat down and discussed this like civilized monsters. Oh. <laughs> nice freaks. Nice freaks. You wouldn't want to hurt me, would you? I'm just a kid like you. Well, sort of. ugly humans, but humans nonetheless. Hey, don't become like Freako. He wants to make the whole world like him. Everyone. That means your friends, your families. Do you want what happened to you to happen to them? In other words, freaks of the world, unite. You have nothing to lose but your slobbering faces and, you know, a few extra limbs. Stop, Freako. Stop him now. <laughs> Oratory worthy of... of myself, actually. Yeah, thanks, Birch. Now's our chance. Quick, let's find Frico. Uh, hey, Yuri, y you think you know where he might be? Funhouse? Ugh, looks more like the guest house at Castle Frankenstein. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I believe we should go to the right. <laughs> Man, he laughs a lot, doesn't he? Come on! Virgil said go right, so we go right.
Okay, enough with the small talk. Where are my friends? <laughs> Sorry, can't see you now. They are, how you say, changing. <laughs> These special mirrors, real funhouse mirrors, what they reflect happens. Care for <laughs> Virgil! Norman! There is nothing you can do but become a freak! <laughs> Am I? Thanks to you. Ah, forget it. <laughs> you know, nothing any other red-blooded mighty one wouldn't do. What happened? Oh, Yuri! Oh. See you around! Yeah, hey, you know what, Virg? I hate to bring this up, but after seeing you the way you were and the way you are now, uh, have you ever thought about getting a beak job? Job? How dare you? Are you implying that my face is anything less than perfect? Well, you do kind of look like a chicken. A chicken? I am a fowl. My beak looks nothing like chickens. Why, a chicken is thin and hooked while I have this... Did you guys know that clowns are an important tradition dating all the way back to ancient Greece? In 16th century Europe, harlequin clowns wore funny masks and costumes. Pierrot added white makeup in the 17th century. Then, a breakthrough in clown history. The German clown Pickle Herring introduces oversized shoes and fake noses. <laughs> and Mom thinks I spent all my time in school just clowning around. <laughs> See ya! the shattered crystal of souls. I seek the Lemurian Arcana, but this book is hidden in the lost city of Devakan, inaccessible for thousands of years. You'll never find it. Even the city's location is a secret. Secrets are bad for the soul, Venerable One. So, if you do not tell me what I need to know, I shall be forced to teach you to fly. But 
It is impossible. Pity. Hey, Max. Did you finish reading Tale of Two Cities for today's class? Oh, man, I knew there was something I forgot. Hey, give me a minute, Felix. A minute? This book is thicker than the Tokyo phone book. <laughs> Not the abridged version. Check it out. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was time for the cat bearer to report to the portal in the school swimming pool? Oh, man, I guess I should have stuck with the original. the creature's name is pronounced yak. Well, I'd love to keep on yakking with you, Verge, but there are icicles forming on my nose here. Forgive me, my dear. Uh, Max, uh, put on this traditional Himalayan parka. Thanks. Whew. Just in time. I was about to get traditional Himalayan pneumonia. So, um, what brings us to this winter wonderland, Verge? A great crisis. You're not the only one it brought, Mighty One. Uh, Max, I want you to meet... Uh, Max. Maximilian, actually. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Yeah, likewise. Verge, I don't get it. What does this mean? Well, you might not realize, Max, but I send out numerous summonses based on all the probabilities of where the Mighty One might be at any given time. The fact that Maximilian here received one of the summonses might mean that he is, in fact, the actual Mighty One. What? Are, are you sure about this, Verge? I mean, uh, how'd he get here? Maximilian was already here because his father is the British ambassador to this country. A special envoy, actually. Another synchronicity, Max. His birthday is the same as yours. In point of fact, I'm five minutes older. Uh, for all prophetic purposes, the two of you are interchangeable. But with one crucial difference. One of you is the mighty one and the other is not. Well, hey, if that's all you're worried about, Maximilian here is welcome to the camp and all the trouble that goes with it. <laughs> I mean, all I ever wanted was to be a regular kid. I do cut a rather dashing figure as the cat bearer, wouldn't you say? No, mighty... Uh, Max, Virgil isn't saying you're not the mighty one. Just so. It's just that the prophecy isn't quite clear. Oh, if only there were a test to determine the true mighty one. attacking the village. Now this may be just the test I was looking for. Oh, I think there's extra credit for this test. Those creatures are quite familiar. Fear not! The Mighty One is here! High marks for heroism and horsemanship. Yeah, only fair. Too showy. I'll show you some real superhero stuff, Burge. Mighty one, uh, Max, be careful. Norman, if you interfere, we'll never learn which Max is the authentic mighty one. <laughs> Thanks anyway, big guy. You know, the truth is, I've gotten used to that cap. And I'm not about to lose it without giving it all I've got. Yes. Virgil, look! Those creatures are retreating. 
Uh, not a retreat, I fear, but an advance. Hurry, vile creatures! The final battle is about to begin! What does old Boneface want around here? Skullmaster seeks the lost city of Devakan and the power of the Lemurian Arcana which lies hidden therein. However, since we know that he knows the city's defenses are absolutely impregnable, it's clear that he knows a way to circumvent them. Luckily, I know one person who can stop him. The mighty one? No problem! Deeds, not words, will determine the true cap bearer, shall we? The portal which leads to the lost city lies beyond. can stop a yeti! Oh yeah? Well you ain't seen nothing, yeti. <laughs> I eat yetis for breakfast. Rather unappetizing, I must say. Norman, no. This test is to determine the true mighty one. Maximilian, the mighty one to you. Virgil, guardian, I shall meet you at the portal. Excellent work, my lad. Simply excellent. Thank you, sir. I'm doing my best. Moving, Norman. As difficult as it may be, we must let the Mighty One fend for himself. Whichever self he turns out to be. Now, I kind of hate to do this, but if I don't, that teacher's pet is going to be Yeti Chow. <laughs> and now for the abominable snowball! <laughs> to learn the truth. I seriously doubt he eluded the beast. Here he comes. Come on, Max. Max, no! Oh, what have I done? No! It can't be. Poor Max. And it was all my fault. Remember that, Verge. Hi, Normie! Mighty one! Mighty one! That is, uh, Max! I'm certainly happy to see you safe. You call this safe? Norman! Can I help it if Yetis are clumsy? Ah! 
close this door? <laughs> that was not fun. Hey, where's my... Oh, right. Maximilian. Well, even if I'm not the mighty one, it's nice to see I can still ditch a Yeti with the best of them. <laughs> Now, if I know my old enemy, he will launch his final attack in the dead of night. I only hope that the true Mighty One, whichever he is, will be up to the challenge. Master, everything is proceeding as planned. When will I be able to enter the city? With the rising of the moon. At last, the power of the Arcana will be mine! Virgil! Norman! Max! Something terrible is happening! The Mighty One's final test has begun. Into the city, my creatures! Nothing can stop me now! Wanna bet? Souls all and the world my kingdom. Here goes nothing. It's gone. Let the boy go. Reveal the location of the Arcana, and I will. Deny me, and I'll cut the boy a new smile. Virgil, Virgil, don't tell him! You've got to keep the Arcana out of Skullmaster's hands! Virgil? Forget about me! If Skullmaster rejoins the Crystal of Souls, he'll be invincible! What a delightful thought. More powerful, yes, but not invincible. Not if the Mighty One is alive to oppose him. Release the boy, Skullbuster. I'll tell you where I moved the Arcana 500 years ago. If you have deceived me, Friend, the boy shall suffer unimaginable pain. I have not deceived you. One shot at him, that's all I ask. Ah! The Arcana. Of course, you didn't expect to leave this room alive, did you? <laughs> well, you know, call me an optimist. Uh, why kill me now if I'm not really the Mighty One? <laughs> oh, but you are the Mighty One. Maximilian is just my unwilling slave, sent to pose as the cap bearer to ensure my victory this day. And now I have the cap, the arcana, and my revenge. Yeah, we well, also have something else, Bone Brain. Company! <laughs> Whoa! 
Tonka. That little brat's on Skullmaster's side. I never liked him. Max! I'm afraid to look. If that Yeti has hurt him, I'll be making Yeti stew tonight. Forget it, Normie. I've eaten your cooking. Mighty, mighty one. one! Well, what's a good mighty one without his cap? <laughs> Let's go! If I'm correct, Skullmaster knows about the exit portal. We must reach it before he does. The portal. wearing this ridiculous cap. Well, it's a long story, uh, old chap, but it's all over now. Mighty One, forgive me for doubting you, but I had to be sure who the true Mighty One was. I knew it all along. You know, so did I. Well, be that as it may, Skullmaster has the Arcana. Not only will he be able to rejoin the Crystal of Souls, but the book will give him unimaginable powers. Well, maybe not, Verge. He's got the abridged edition. See, while he was busy with the Yeti, I tore out a whole bunch of pages. Certainly are the mighty one. But do you think you could possibly have saved the world without mutilating an ancient relic of Lemurian science, a genuine antiquity of great significance? Well, no doubt about it. <laughs> That's the real Virgil. You know, there aren't many places in the world where you can lose an entire city. But if you're going to, you couldn't choose a better place for it than the Himalayan mountains. The Himalayas are filled with mysterious legends such as the abominable snowman and the lost city of Shambhala, which some say was built by colonists from Atlantis inside a hollow mountain. So when you travel to Tibet, Nepal, or Bhutan, keep your eyes open, because you never know what you might see. Later! Shares of sword and technical at 30 and an eighth at opening. Sell 10 million of Dynadyne. That's right, sell. I'll show that upstart company who runs the software biz. Memo. Make sure MegaWrite 7.0 is incompatible with any other hardware. They'll either have to buy my computers or use pencils. <laughs> What's the matter with this thing? <gasps> Cyber Skull. Computer, you you bitstream baboon! I crash proof, Mega. You can't get rid of me that easily. And I'd be careful what I call me because I'm back. <laughs> and now for your science. Remember, class, this will affect your final grade. Come on, Max, put the pedal to the metal. Lighten up, Felix, we're gonna ace this science project deal. <laughs> I am a master. Oh, ow, I dropped the screw. Hand me a magnet, would you, Felix? Thank you. 
computer chip, Max. It's too powerful for our car. Will you chill, Felix? There's an old saying that I just came up with. You can't have too much power. Thank you, Ernie, for your wonderful project entitled I Am Joe's Recessive Genes. I'm sure we'll never look at buck teeth and receding chins in quite the same way. And now, Max and Felix, what have we here? Oh, just a little something I like to call Hell on Wheels. <laughs> That was Max's idea. Was this your idea? Well, actually, Mrs. Futter, uh, computer chips were invented following the first commercial use of silicon in the uh, 1940s. I have a job for you, Max, after school. Boy, they sure don't appreciate genius around here. Oh, man. <laughs> I bet that car hit Mach 5. <gasps> what on earth? I told you to erase the chalkboards, Max, not write on them. Take the portal to San Francisco. Virgil, uh, do me a favor and finish this, would you, Mrs. Butter? I gotta see a man about a portal. Later. What, you mean no one in San Francisco paid their electric bill this month? Well, apparently someone did. The Megacorp building. Hey, how come it's all lit up and everything else is dark? A sudden rash of power outages has created havoc all over North America. The Megacorp power control satellite seems to be the cause of it. So Mega's taking power from everybody else and keeping it for himself, huh? <laughs> seems kind of greedy, but why? That is what we must discover. Norman, please replace the door. Sorry. thought Mega would have a high-tech doorbell. This is the door program of J.C. Mega. Please enter the access code. Oh dear, this may be difficult. It'll take me days to calculate the mathematical probabilities. Never mind. This will only take a second. I'm sorry. Oh, ah, is not the proper access code. Please try again. Maybe we should just knock? Knock? Knock, knock is the correct access code. Please enter and wipe your feet. <laughs> this is spooky. I don't like it. Welcome to the house of Cyber Skull. You are the first to come and celebrate his ascendancy. Hey, how are you, JC? Whoa, that dress is a whole new look for you, isn't it? <laughs> Screams for accessories. Follow me, please. Cyber Skull. I should have known. This is more serious than I thought. Cyber Skull's marooned in cyberspace. He can't do anything. I just think JC split a few switches, if you know what I mean. What is this? <laughs> a Cyber Skull action figure? Ooh, hey, that's a must-have item on my Christmas list. These are my satellites, controlling all electrical power for those cities. They now serve only Cyber Skull. They feed only Cyber Skull. We are just subroutines to the Cyber Skull program. You can't do that. Hospitals, schools, air traffic controllers depend on that power. I mean, lives are at stake. What's your point? My point is, you can't get away with... Well, what happened? Where'd I get these clothes? Where's my pocket protector? He appears to have been hypnotized. Well, maybe this thing... Yes, Cyber Skull. You cannot terminate him. He is all powerful. It's stuck. 
You want me to break it? Well, never mind him. We gotta realign those satellites. I fear that will be impossible. Mega has created a force field around the controls. You want me to break it? That's just about your favorite thing to do, isn't it, Normie? This might take a while. The skull figurine seems to have come to life. It's 12 inches tall. How tough can it be? but he's wiry. It appears that Cyberskull has projected his electronic mind into that figurine. But how is a mystery? I know. It's probably computer-driven. He must have built it so he can move around in our world. Make a pancake out of that pit squeak. <laughs> you nailed him, Normie. Now we can wrap what's left of Cyber Skull around some beans and make a burrito. has a few options that aren't in the brochure. Gotcha. <laughs> What's the matter, cyber shrimp? You can dish it out, but you can't take it. Just a shell, a prototype. You can't defeat Cyber Skull. I am everywhere. All the world's information, all the world's wealth is mine for the taking. Soon I will know everything. I will have everything. I will be a digital god. He's right. Letting Cyber Skull stay in cyberspace is like uh, leaving Dracula in the blood bank. The entire world's power is being diverted by Cyberskull. This, for all intents and purposes, is war. Mega satellites are controlling the world's electrical power. And this will show us where that power is being directed. Ah, now I believe that is Central America. Guatemala, to be precise. Yeah, so where's the nearest portal to Guatemala? Old Cyber Nerd will never know what hit him. <laughs> Since when did Guatemala become so popular with a jet set? Either they're Cyber Skull slaves, or this is a weird eyeball convention. the Mayans who once dominated this region five centuries ago. They built that pyramid called the Eye of the Sun, but no one has figured out its purpose. Yeah, well, Cyberskull's found a use for it. He's pulling the power from Mega satellites down here. Speaking of the redoubtable Mr. Mega... 
Welcome, networkers, to the Cyber Skull Matrix! It looks like our little playmate has a big brother. Where are your badges? We don't need no stinking badges. There are incompatible programs in our midst. They must be deleted! <laughs> no, Norman. These are innocent people under the control of Cyberskull. They mean us no harm. They mean us no harm. Who was it that said that? Well, perhaps I did underestimate the mighty one. Hmm. Well, this is a Mayan sacrificial altar. You will note the groove in the top to allow the victim's blood to run down. Oh, boy, those Mayans. Always thinking about carpet stains. Oh, no. It's the Phantom of the Keyboard. You will have the ultimate honor of being the first to be sacrificed, uh, integrated, by the Cyber Skull Matrix! Well, it could be worse. He could play the accordion. The time has come! The satellites have gathered all the world's electrical power! It is time for Cyber Skull to be reborn! <laughs> the Mayan inscription at the base of the pyramid is quite interesting, Mighty One. Can we save the history lesson for later, Virgil? It appears that the Eye of the Sun was not a name for the pyramid, but for something inside it to focus its energy, apparently. Fine, swell. We'll call National Geographic, but first we gotta get loose! I can do that. You could have done that before? We didn't need to before. Cyber Skull! Cyber Skull! In that case, I strongly suggest a strategic retreat. Yeah, well, you may be 50 feet tall, but to me, you're still Marlon Kurtz, techno dweeb. I am a techno guy. I am Cyber Skull. I am now the Eye of the Sun. Are you okay? I eat lasers for breakfast. That a boy! Then follow me! Quick! To the pyramid! Isn't the general purpose of a retreat to run away from danger? We gotta reach the eye of the sun, Burge. I have a hunch. He is the mighty one. Insignificant glitches. You dare to challenge me? Oh, please. You can't even write a decent game program and you want to rule the world? <laughs> Buy a clue from the clue bank, Marlin. Stop calling me that. You will call me Lord Cyber Skull. Man, little Cyber Skull has sure grown up. Let's go. Can I hit somebody? I got a better idea. You want me to hit them with this, Mighty One? No, I've got a hunch. Oh dear, another hunch. Aim it at their badges. <laughs> huh? Magnets 
wipe out Cyberskull's programming on the microchips. Excellent, Mighty Max. Impressive application of logic. Lucky guess, Verge. Enjoy your triumph while you can. When I have absorbed all the world's energy, nothing will stop me. Even now, I feel a new power surging in my circuit. Oh dear, if he gets any more power, he will indeed be invincible. We gotta find that Eye of the Sun thing, Verge. If I'm right, it'll take care of RoboNerd. Well then, pull that lever. You mean the lever? The lever! Oh, the lever! Lever, lever, just pull it! You knew it was there before? We didn't need it before. Man, for old timers, those Mayans do great special effects. <laughs> Check it out. Cyber Skull's becoming a little unglued. I must escape back into the bit stream. Yeah, well, I don't know how to tell you this, Marlin, but when you shut down the world's electrical power, <laughs> you shut down the world's computer networks. There's no way back into the bit stream. Maybe you can have too much power. What am I doing here? <gasps> Where's my pocket protector? Oh, look for it later. First, you must restore the world's electrical power. Reprogram my satellites to redirect the power back to its original destination. Can I go lie down now? Well, that's the last we'll see of Cyber Skull. He had nowhere to go. Uh, perhaps, but this time I have a hunch. Hey, look, Ralph, uh, a toy or something. What's up? Check it out. The Mayans lived in Mexico and Central America for hundreds of years before the first Europeans arrived. They developed a sophisticated language, a very accurate calendar, and they played a game that was a cross between basketball and soccer where they had to shoot a ball like this through a hoop using their hips. Now, I wonder if the Mayans ever got grounded. 